Hi, my name is Jason Chanko and I am an Applications Engineer at Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration on a VNC viewer. So for those of you that aren't aware, a lot of our instrumentation has the ability to be controlled remotely using a LAN a LAN connection and you can very easily just type in the IP address in a web browser your favorite web browser Google Chrome or what have you uh, and here I've connected to one of our oscilloscopes this is an SDS 6000 series uh, so I just typed in the IP address that comes up with the welcome page and then we can go to instrument control this is really really helpful it allows us to turn on and off the instrument we can do full control over all of the different features and and all of the things that we have uh, available on the touch screen we can all control that remotely but uh, it is slightly limited because we can't really adjust the window size or anything like that and we can only show one thing at a time so one of the really cool features about some third-party software here um, I've downloaded VNC viewer it just happens to be one of the types of, of products that are available out there uh, but with VNC viewer when you open up a window right here I've got two established connections to two different instruments I've got an SDS 6000 here and we'll uh, Click, double click on it. So again, I just typed in the IP address and opened up a VNC connection here. And now we have the ability to fully control that window size. And so I can shrink it and I can maneuver it and I can automatically adjust it. There are some settings here. You do wanna make sure that that scaling is set to auto fit. Um, so I'm going to just move this over here and then I'm gonna open up another instrument to show you what it's like to have more than one instrument open. So this is an SDG 7000 series. And here I also have this window open. So now I've got the SDG 7000 and I've got this SDS 6000 open at exactly the same time. So I can fully control if I wanted to change this waveform type to an arbitrary waveform, for example, now you can see that the oscilloscope has changed. And so this allows me, th this setup allows me to then control multiple instruments, adjust each of the windows accordingly. This is really great if you're showing a colleague at a distance what might be happening, or maybe you're doing an experiment for a customer and you wanna show your client some of the data and, and data streams that you're that you're having in real time you can manipulate the information customer could tell you exactly what they're changing or you can make changes to the oscilloscope to view different objects and, and then again just show them directly in, in real time so it can be really really helpful one of the disadvantages of the VNC viewer is you can't just take a screenshot of what's being displayed. These are actually terminal views for each of these instruments, so they're not actually located on the desktop, so to speak. Uh, but you can use the uh, Windows Snip and Sketch and other, other utilities to be able to take quick pictures of this. So I just opened up Snip and Sketch. If you type in Snip in your uh, search bar on a Windows operating system, you should be able to find that. Uh, and then you can just say New, and then you can select window snip and it will automatically uh, take a nice image for you and you're all set. So I hope you found the VNC viewer helpful. If you have any additional questions, please contact your local Siglent office. Thank you and have a great day.